Well, Gordon Strachan, surprisingly quick recovery from injury is a big lift for Leeds United. Strachan missed the midweek home defeat at the hands of Manchester City. Howard Wilkinson makes one other change. Chris Fairclough is recalled to the centre of defence in place of John McClelland. Lee Chapman, at the age of 31, he's achieved his best return in a single season, 24 goals and still the chance of more to come. Liverpool's Ian Rush is just one goal behind Chapman in the race to be the most prolific marksman amongst first division players. Liverpool have Gary Ablett suspended, Grobola, McMahon, Whelan and Venison on the casualty list, joined now by Gary Gillespie, but David Burrows and David Speedy are back in a reshuffle side. 19-year-old Steve Harkness, who's not yet played in the first team, is a substitute along with the Israeli striker Ronnie Rosenthal. And Peter Beardsley finally comes to Ellen Road, but still in Liverpool red. So much speculation over the first part of the season that he would be transferred to Leeds. Ken Redfern fits his refereeing around running a successful jewellery business in the northeast of England. So to put this match into context for you, there really is no margin for error for Liverpool as they try to hang on to Arsenal's coattails. And Leeds United still trying to finish high enough in the league to qualify for a place in next season's UEFA Cup. wearing black armbands today out of respect to the memories of the uh, Hillsborough tragedy two years ago this weekend. <laughs> Leeds United kick off an exceptional atmosphere here at Ellen Road. The stadium packed to the rafters it's Liverpool's first visit here for nine years. It's a cold April afternoon, the pitch has been heavily watered. Mike Hooper continuing to deputise for Bruce Grobelart. Shot, getting his shot in and beating Steve Staunton to the ball to deliver the blow towards Hooper's goal. The goalkeeper survived it, but Staunton alongside Glenn Hussein in the centre of defence here. With Ronnie Moran really running out of central defenders. Steve Staunton asked to show his considerable versatility yet again, often used in midfield by Liverpool, a regular for the Republic of Ireland, of course, at left-back. Fairclough. Sterland closed down quickly by Speedy. David Speedy, who was signed, of course, by Kenny Dalglish towards the end of the manager's reign at Anfield. Here's Strucker. Chapman, uh, a determined leap by Staunton. McAllister. Leeds who love to 
get the game off to a fast start and are being egged on here by uh, a wildly enthusiastic crowd such demand for tickets Barnes Beardsley just inside him Rush trying to get behind Fairclough and uh, White as well who covered cleverly on the stretch Houghton beaten by the bounce seized on by McAllister trying to get the ball wide to speed quickly the last goal that Liverpool scored on this ground did come from Rush back in 1982 right at the outset of his very distinguished career can uh, he do the trick for Liverpool today Staunton really lacking direction then Shut in front of Staunton. Strachan, Chapman finding himself wide on the right, only presenting the ball to Beardsley. Now Mulvey. With Speedy for company in the centre of midfield. David Speedy always provokes a reaction from opposing supporters. coming a good 10 yards outside of the penalty area to try and force Liverpool back Burrows one footed by Barnes so an awkward position this for Liverpool caught about really by uh, the John Barnes error long throw from Sterling Hussein lets it go to Nicol he thought but really charging in then was shut immense distance from the throw by Sterling Nickel didn't get there well uh, Leeds were complaining that he did and it should have been a corner but Liverpool haven't made much of the goal kick Chapman this is Gary Speed shot some appeals there that a Liverpool hand was used it's just the way that Howard Wilkinson would have wanted his players to uh, attack their problems here they've penned Liverpool back that's Ronnie Moran having picked a team here with some difficulty because of lack of availability of a number of established players and Hussein and company having to deal with a lot of ball around the edge of their own penalty area. Backlot. Touched off by Chapman. First time from Strachan trying to get McAllister through and uh, the hand was used. So Leeds have a free kick. forward Fairclough is there as well Sterling uh, tells them what the plan is and tries to put it into action over speed oh, Ronnie Moran in uh, charge for Liverpool his players looking very edgy I must say Mulvey tries to get it back and uh, Hooper has to scurry it to prevent the corner Liverpool with just 
and one point from three matches now, their last three games against sides in the lower half of the table. Beaten at home by Queen's Park Rangers, beaten away by Southampton, held at home by Coventry as recently as last Tuesday. Really putting the skids under their attempts to keep Arsenal in their sights. Speeding. Now Houghton. Two up for Leeds ahead of Strachan. Sterling so anxious to keep things moving and look at that for a pass to Strachan. Who has to in the end settle for the corner. Some dogged play by Burrows sorted up. Well, it must be something of a risk for Leeds to feel Strachan today, but no sign of discomfort as he chased on then, and Sterling supplied him magnificently. Headed by White, punched away by Mike Hooper. Got to White again, and it was Sterling. Had really made the corner possible in the first place with that incisive ball from right back. Not Tom by White, but only helped wide in the end by Mel Sterling. All the play at the moment in the Liverpool half. Chapman. Batting. Leads with players to spare, really. Speed. Getting uh, close to the edge of the penalty area and then prepared to uh, take the sort of risk that can pay uh, great dividends with an acceleration towards the byline. It's produced another corner which uh, is in the charge of Strachan. Well claimed by Hooper. Very well claimed indeed. Plenty of swerve on the ball imparted by Strachan, aided I think by a gust of wind as well. It really was terrific handling. And Liverpool spring forward really for the first time with Barnes, in comes Speedy! John Lukic complains about the lack of cover in front of him, with a bit of justification. Leeds were caught rather square and Barnes got in behind them. And Speedy was really aware of the possibilities, he was uh, herring into the middle, but not quite quickly enough. We've seen him score like that before. And Speedy wins it for Liverpool and sends uh, Barnes, or hopes to send Barnes through the centre. And again, there was no offside. So the first hint of Leeds' vulnerability. After... Uh, Ten minutes of solid attacking play from the home side. Barnes. Delightfully for Beardsley. And he couldn't get beyond McAllister first of all. Burrows went for the ball. <laughs> the uh, lead supporters playing at the referee. It was a robust challenge, but within the laws of the game, and that's the way uh, Ken Redfern saw it as well. That wasn't from Batty. David Batty, really the kind of competitive midfield player that Liverpool have been lacking with Whelan and McMahon absent for so much of the season. They've been without one or both of them for two thirds of their league games, Liverpool, and that's been a real handicap. Maybe in the end, the difference between winning the title and coming second. Rush, sneaked in there, Barnes. That's Ray Houghton. The goal is given, and Leeds stood and watched it happen, and Liverpool celebrate taking the lead in the 12th minute. 
they expected uh, perhaps to uh, trap out an offside here but it was when the ball was played and the linesman saw nothing wrong Barnes was able to pick it out Houghton it must have been very close but Leeds United are a goal down There aren't that many Liverpool supporters here because such is the uh, demand from the Leeds fans on a regular basis there's just not much space for any visiting followers but they, the lucky ones who followed Liverpool across from the northwest, are in, uh, are enjoying their day so far now the flag is up Ray Houghton will be particularly delighted about this because uh, he had an unhappy game against Coventry on Tuesday at Anfield. He was substituted. Oh, and Hooper! Challenged by Shutt more out of hope than any expectation. The lead started here like uh, Greyhounds out of the trap. But even before they lost the goal to Houghton, there were a couple of promising signs for Ronnie Moran and Roy Evans down there and Phil Thompson. Strucker. Comes from McAllister. Oh, deflected by Staunton. It could easily have veered away into the back of the net for an equaliser. Steve Staunton was very grateful here that the ball actually flew up closer to Hooper rather than further away from him. Chapman first of the clearance by speed. When uh, Leeds went to Anfield on New Year's Day, they were beaten 3 0, really put in their place by Liverpool. It's the uh, biggest defeat that Leeds have had this season. But it was a much happier Liverpool, a more consistent Liverpool then, when they were still favourites to win the championship. But at least the goal from Ray Houghton here. Given them a degree of optimism, they might win this match, which is so precious to them. And it's been played in an electric atmosphere if there was a, a trophy at stake at the end of the 90 minutes here. Barnes. Lovely dummy by Rush. Is it going to be a second? He's pulled down. It's got to be a penalty. It is. And it's a question now of what Ken Redburn will do, if anything, to further punish John Lukic. Lukic didn't get there quickly enough. And Liverpool carved their way through then and have a great chance now to go two up. Rush has earned the penalty, Jan Mulvey will take it. Two now it is, Lukic went the wrong way. Well, 
an amazing start with Leeds forcing the pace and Liverpool collecting the goals. But there was real class in the way that the move was constructed to lead to Lukic bringing down Rush. And Jan Molbit gets his eighth goal of the season, seven of them penalties. chasing and challenging and tackling but their heads must be buzzing wondering what on earth has gone wrong Whitlow with the show of enterprise that he will continue to need in abundance speedy not just whacking it away, picking out Beardsley, who's fought very hard then to keep Liverpool going forward. Burrows. One back by shot. Liverpool take their chances like this you can understand why Arsenal's George Graham says the championship is not over yet it's not Arsenal's for the taking Batty Speed out came Mulvin <laughs> throwing his weight around Head to it. Back from Strachan. Anywhere out of harm's way would do for Staunton. Speed it. Here's the again helping. Getting the ball for Liverpool. That's a share of possession. They've shown that it's not how often you have it, it's what you do with the ball that matters. Hurled by Sterling towards Chapman. That goes shut. Strachan! Well, with Leeds badly in need of improving their position quickly, that has to go down as a missed opportunity. The ball never came to earth particularly after Strachan made contact with it. Here's their inspiration. And it was a big boost to all concerned with the club as he was past fit after a fitness test this morning on a groin problem. Tussle there between uh, two Scots, David Speedy and Gary McAllister. Two Scots of uh, quite different temperaments. Speedy very much the firebrand. Sterling takes the free kick. May not be exactly what Shutt had in mind, but it found Batty. This is Whitlow. looking to hit back again but from long range and David Batty still waiting to score a goal at Ellen Road for Leeds United
Here's Halton. It's a very attack-minded uh, Liverpool selection, this. As I said earlier, somewhat forced upon Ronnie Moran. But nevertheless, uh, although they've had their scares defensively, it's giving a very sharp edge to their attacking play. Barnes, still Barnes. No, the flag is up. So, uh, Speedy uh, finished it all off very uh, neatly indeed. at all when the linesman put his flag up possibly against Barnes in the first place Speedy not sure but maybe Ken Redfern referring back to the previous scrap between McAllister and David Speedy the first opportunity that he'd had so much honest running in the Leeds cause and the running there took him beyond the Liverpool back line chasing a ball delivered over the top Beardsley and it's Houghton and at the moment Leeds United aren't picking up Ray Houghton he's not the only one who's getting free Gary Speed was uh, coming far too late on the scene there and there was no offside flag that time now could have helped himself to his second and Liverpool's third and Peter Beardsley who has kept uh, uh, very quiet on all the subject of course of whether he would eventually join Leeds he's certainly enjoying playing a major role Liverpool's request to take points from Leeds here. Rush. Nickel hit Batty. Hit Beardsley again. Mulvey. No offside. Barnes. And Speedy! It is three this time. It does count. And what an inquest is going on at the back for Leeds. 25 minutes. Liverpool have scored three times. And they're simply uh, picking their passes here at will. Barnes was not offside. Speedy certainly came late on the scene. And there was no risk, I don't think, of him getting ahead of anything here. Leeds United nil, Liverpool 3 as it was after 90 minutes at Anfield on New Year's Day and remember Arsenal a day off from the uh, rigours of the first division today preparing for their FA Cup semi-final against Tottenham at Wembley tomorrow and they certainly won't like what they will be hearing with the news from Ellen Road Leeds United who uh, had opportunities to take the lead are being swamped here and Liverpool are really putting on a show it's been a, a topsy-turvy time for Ronnie Moran as a manager who 
but this is the uh, good side of the job. Now, Barnes, Nickel. Well, you expect them to score every time they attack, because that's what they've been doing. Liverpool last played here. Nine years, of course, uh, during which Leeds have been mostly in the second division. And Liverpool have been winning trophies. And Liverpool now putting on something of a masterclass against uh, a defence that has been flirting with uh, an offside trap. And they just haven't got that right as Barnes strides away and makes it four. This is wonderful. It's slaughter here to Leeds United. But a delight for Liverpool. Again, there was no cover in the centre. And the timing of the run was superb. And so was the execution from Barnes. And Lukic is beaten for a fourth time. A mere 28 minutes elapsing. And for ten of those, it was nil-nil. Well, the Leeds United supporters won't want to see Liverpool for another nine years. Barnes, who has had a major involvement in the goal for Houghton and the goal for Speedy, collects his 15th of the season, if you include the one that he got at Wembley in the Charity Shield, which is usually the case. I think we all arrived here expecting something special but nobody could have anticipated what we've seen. Stump. Strachan. And what do Leeds do now? First and foremost, they must keep their heads up. Particularly in situations such as a Sterling long throw. Hoop has come for it. He's scrabbling to get back there now and... Uh, Leeds feeling that even in those situations it's not going to end up their way. Well, Carl Shad, I think, feeling that somebody has got to get a tackle in, even if it's a late one, even if it's a rash one. He's not in the side to defend, but those who are picked to defend been found wanting by uh, the brilliance particularly from Barnes Nickel and of course uh, it might be crossing the Leeds minds that relatively recently amidst their unsatisfactory results Liverpool went to Derby and won 7-1 well, he'll be wishing he failed his fitness test, perhaps. Well, uh, on the right of the pitcher, just sitting back now, Michael Hennigan, who's the assistant to Howard Wilkinson. And no wonder the brow is furrowed.
think the uh, bottom line here is that if you let Liverpool play, they uh, will get the better of you and how. And that's what Leeds have done in their concentration Attacking the game at the outset. They overcommitted. And once uh, Liverpool got hold of the ball, well, it's been mayhem. And Ian Rush has realised that uh, he hasn't got a goal yet. so unusual at any level of the game really for one team to be four goals up so early throws uh, all the uh, tactical thinking of the opposition into total chaos of course whereas Liverpool who certainly couldn't relax in the opening flurries can almost say that the job is done have conceded four goals this season of course in that uh, amazing four-all draw in the FA Cup against Everton when they led four times and four times Everton equalised Lukic with the free kick Hooper just hesitated and left it to Nickel which paid off in the end that opposing teams have at Ellen Road of course is the sheer passion of the Leeds United support that as you can imagine has somewhat weakened they're absolutely dumbstruck and Barnes slotting in at left back temporarily One of the uh, successes under Ronnie Moran's management, of course, is being uh, persuaded or helped persuade John Barnes to sign for next season. Barnes, whose previous contract was up at the end of this season, has placed himself to Liverpool for another year. It's cost Liverpool a lot of money, but I think you've seen today that they will feel it's money well spent. Mulby. Sharp was trying to uh, anticipate and intercept the back pass. Speeding. Now Burrows. John Barnes is really running free. enough Liverpool players trying to score without uh, Chris White putting his name on that list something to cheer
eight minutes to go to half time. pretty quickly speed guided out by Mulvey and Beardsley Liverpool looking to find a way through on the break again well, it's been such a ruthless performance but you're surprised when it breaks down as it did on the far side. <laughs> Given Liverpool's recent results going into this game, I'm sure side here Chapman and Hooper took it on the body the goal is empty though if Leeds can find it Hussein's back on the line now Hooper's still trying to get back in position he's there now well not much has gone right for Leeds McAllister and shut and what does Beardsley want to do walk it to safety He's only cleared as far as Batic. Another remarkable incident in this extraordinary first half. Hooper came out, took the ball, and maybe a boot in the stomach as well. Barnes gets it back to him. I was about to say that uh, you came here expecting some Liverpool vulnerability. There was just a hint there, but they can afford it four goals up. Nickel. It's a desperate position for Leeds because they clearly have to attack in numbers full knowledge as this young man has sadly realised that his favourites are so vulnerable when Liverpool get the ball but Whitlow has got a good position here it's an excellent cross just the sort of driven ball that defenders detest to deal with but no one could get there for Leeds in the centre Turned to Strachan as he wanted it then. Sterling's kept the ball in play though. Gary Speed's very good in the air. Hooper gave him a problem. Shut. Leeds lining up. Well, Howard Wilkinson's team could easily have had a couple themselves. What is most significant here is that Leeds conceded the first goal that made that Liverpool believe quickly again in their basic principles which have served them in such good stead down the years and even at this tricky time for the club they found the purple patch here Mulvey, it's over the top. 
top again. Beasley and trying to protect the bounce here against Sterling. Mulvey. Concerned that the angle of speed's challenge. Speeding. Nicole. defending in front of their faithful uh, Copites the Leeds Cop not quite as uh, famous around the world as the Liverpool Cop but they're very proud of their support here but it's been uh, a de desolate scene in front of their eyes out on the pitch at that end of the ground White Too long against Barnes, he's not in the mood to give them that. Lukic with an orthodox save. Mulby striving to get a shot in unsuccessfully. The Leeds have had to bring everyone back. John Lukic coming out at a ball that arrived in front of him, almost on the half volley. That's a well-timed run again from Houghton. Can he go on? Oh, Fairclough had the greater strength and a little bit of extra speed as well. But again, that was the essence of uh, the Leeds United problems. The coordinated movement of Liverpool. Nickel. Just sense at the moment that Liverpool have done so much running in this splendid spell. The two players needing to catch their breath. Jose. McAllister reacted a little quicker than Speedy, but he made amends for that. out of play we're in the final few seconds of a harrowing first half for Leeds United Batty's throw jump by Glenn Hussein Nickel Stracker losing out to Barnes well four goals in an 18 minutes spell an astonishing spell for Liverpool showing that they're not yet out of the championship chase Ray Houghton started it off a goal made by John Barnes who's been exceptionally elusive Barnes got the fourth, he made the third for Speedy. And uh, in the midst of it all, a penalty tucked away by Jan Mulvey. Leeds have to go back to 1973 to find their last victory over Liverpool. And even at half-time here, surely they're not going to change that today. But you really look forward to what the second half will bring. Well, if Liverpool are a club in crisis, as has been reported, I'd like to see them when they're playing really well. What can Leeds United do? First and foremost, I think, try and keep the score down. It's 
a test of their professionalism. I must say it was a magnificent reception that they got from their supporters when they came out for the second half here, even in such great adversity. We've grown to expect that though at Allen Road. Leeds defenders will want to get this afternoon over pretty quickly. It has been one of those perhaps relatively rare occasions when one good team has played very badly and one very talented team has been absolutely on top of its game. It's been such a gulf between the two sides. It really is very unexpected given the run into this fixture for the respective parties. Shut. And with a header sensibly to Strachan. Chapman climbing for this. It's dropped his way again. Whitlow waiting on the edge. They're trying to set him up. in the early exchanges not quite happening for them before and put Liverpool in front that's very much a case of what might have been David Batty having to play on the retreat taking a different perspective on the second half from the seat on the touchline everything of course is relative I'm sure at the start of the season leads promoted would have been delighted to go into this match fourth in the table having achieved semi-final status in two cup competitions and plenty to be proud of and Hussein misjudged that I'm sure Ronnie Moran would have reminded Liverpool of the dangers of any second half complacency Speedy went high, White reacted, Ken Redfern is reaching for his notebook and the cards contained their own. And this could be punishment for both players. It's a yellow card for Speedy, for the foul, and then White tried to take the law into his own hands. he was booked Speedy is a provocative character Beardsley that was overconfident so much of that sort of stuff came off for Liverpool in the first half they got to earn the right to play again in the second Barnes trying to do just that. Matty recognising the need to tuck in behind Strachan and doing that job particularly well. It's a little like uh, closing the stable door, I'm afraid. Again, Barnes made the run to uh, 
stay on side. The ball was hit too long that time. Strachan. Knocked behind by Steve Nicholl. penalty area, Hooper didn't get there, not by a long way speed the rush helped out spared the blushes of the goalkeeper he thought he could uh, reach the corner in the first place but was a little misguided that time Matty in dealing with it totally decisively Strachan McAllister made a good run outside him which Strachan used as a decoy well there's nothing wrong with the Leeds United appetite but plenty wrong with the circumstances that they find themselves in of their own defensive shortcomings and the subtlety and skill of Liverpool shut well timed uh, McAllister Chapman trying to uh, lay it on the line on the edge of the penalty area for Strachan Two uh, nervy moments for Mike Cooper. Leeds wondering whether they uh, might capitalise on that. And I suppose a meaningful target for them in the professional sense would be just to try and win the second half. Unless they uh, win it by uh, four goals, they won't get uh, any points or any reward for it. If they win it by five goals, we'll be talking about it as the greatest game we've ever seen. Hussein Rush by Beardsley Bounce to the left Four up for Liverpool Barnes accelerates and it nearly dropped in direct from the uh, John Barnes left foot Well he is uh, a mercurial player can never be absolutely sure whether he'll destroy you or whether he'll be on the periphery of the match but he's in his most destructive form today that's if you're an opponent most constructive from Liverpool's perspective Burrows Houghton's offside and run and run and Liverpool and for the most part match the early start to the second half for the team that trails them by four goals David Speedy and having been booked certain uh, pernickety referees might have felt that Speedy was kicking the ball away then to waste a bit of time
minutes into the second half. The second half that Liverpool are trying to make a formality. Batting. Oh, and Chapman got in the way of that. It was Gary Speed's volley. I think that Chapman was trying to change the angle in the shot and deceive Hooper and get a goal for Leeds that way. Foul by Rush on Batty. Mistake by Speed. Margin at all for any Leeds errors. We've made too many of them already. Barnes. We listed the support for John Barnes on that occasion. <laughs> Lukic was uh, roaring out. Must the embarrassment of Fairclough. Most of the support for Barnes was behind him rather than in the centre. Lesser characters than those on the Leeds United side would have crumbled after what happened in that 20 minute period in the first half where it looked as though Liverpool were playing with 15 players and Leeds with six. But Leeds are battling on. Chapman. Push in his back by Glenn Hussein. White has stayed on the edge of things this time. Fair club is there. White starting to make his move now. White at the back. In he comes. McAllister. Shot. Claiming that that it away because it flew off the Liverpool body. That's why in the end made his presence felt. Taken on by McAllister. It appeared to flick off Steve Nicholl. But the decision is a goal kick. through the middle and Barnes wanted one touch too many speed oh, it's certainly an effort that's praiseworthy a shot but he fouls speed it in his willingness to try and win the ball for Leeds Interesting then, although Burrows wanted to get involved, Barnes was making an angle possibly for Mulvey to use again. I don't think the midfield player saw him that time. But at Anfield, when Leeds went there at the start of the year, Barnes was exceptionally elusive, as he has been again this afternoon. Houghton. Beersley, there's not enough pace on that for it to run all the way through to Barnes. Speed. Understandably, Liverpool haven't been needed, haven't needed to be so ambitious in the second half, which has run 15 minutes. Advice coming from all quarters, from the lead supporters, from Phil Thompson on the Liverpool coaching staff. 
it's amused uh, one or two of the players who aren't in the lineup today. Jimmy Carter having a smile there at uh, what Paul Thompson said. so defensively secure that would, uh, whether they would fret if Leeds could score well, they haven't been able to do that McAllister Stirling Burrows just shows there perhaps how Liverpool have kept one eye on the defensive side of their game not quite the way out for Staunton's long ball as there was in the first half demanding manager he uh, will insist that his players keep on going White smuggled clear really by Houghton that would be worrying Liverpool if they were one, maybe two goals in front but when there are four in the bank the concern uh, is pretty minimal in truth and, uh, certainly stopping Hooper having to make uh, any real saves so far Dummies thrown today, most notably uh, in the way that Liverpool got the penalty when Rush let the ball run behind him to Beersley and galloped on to get the return before Lukic rudely halted his progress. They haven't all come off. Leeds have uh, Bobby Davison versatile Andy Williams as their substitutes. I wouldn't think either would be too keen to get on in these circumstances. Speedy. And this is Burrows. Well, David Burrows has only ever scored one league goal. It was for his first club, West Bromwich Albion, but it was on this ground way back in 1987. to remind me of that fact before the game right, 
Backdrop for shot. Now Strachan. McAllister. And shot. McAllister. This is Whitlow. Shot goes on the outside, which made the angle that much more difficult. Hussein got in the way. On another day, Leeds would feel that the ball might have fallen more kindly on a number of occasions. But Liverpool tend to make their own luck. So negative to get the ball back to Lukic because of just this ploy. He does uh, drive the ball downfield a long way. Liverpool prefer shorter passes. Batting. Sterling. Speedy did very well there to uh, withstand. Very robust attempt from Sterling. Hussein. Rush. And you can see the ball. He <laughs> was still flailing away at it. It's going to be a, a drop ball to restart play. Rather extravagantly dropped, not to say bounced by Ken Redford. And it's gone Liverpool's way. Beardsley, leads slow to close him down, he can try a shot. Holby, wondering whether he could dip it over Lukic. It's maybe four or five yards off his line. difference of course could still be a factor in the championship race very much in Arsenal's favour but a few more pumping victories such as this one is turning out to be and even that might be closer to parity so uh, Liverpool do have an incentive here to keep looking for goals rather than just settle for keeping a clean sheet Strachan. Shot for Strachan. McAllister's waiting behind him. Chapman. Well, it's a steep climb, but at least they've got their foot on the first rung of the ladder. And finally, it broke leads way in the Liverpool penalty area off the goalkeeper and Chapman was right on hand for his 25th goal of the season and his 21st of those at Ellen Road so it's not a clean sheet it's Leeds United 1 Liverpool 4 but Barnes rush going to the near post would be just like Liverpool to strike straight away There's new life in the Leeds legs. Twenty minutes left. And Leeds with nothing to lose. They felt that the match was already lost when they came out for the second half. And Rush has rather got into the habit at the moment of letting the ball run. Storm 
Newton. Well, when this season eventually finishes, Lee Chapman has certainly proved that he can handle the first division into his 30s. credit to him in his 13th season in the game he's set a, a new personal best 23 in one season for Sheffield Wednesday the target he had to beat wherever he's been he's played his way with goals never in such quantities as this season Closer to Barnes, obviously. Barnes is free at the moment, and so too is Rush. Actually, the ball landed on the dry part of the pitch and bounced on away from Rush. He was still prepared to chase it just to stop the goal kick, hoping that Liverpool might win the ball from the throw. They haven't done that. Shut. whether Leeds can get closer we're all wondering Chapman away on the body of Staunton he's out of position now Chapman is in a wide position for Leeds White that is handball up and he uh, used the uh, upper arm and inclined the uh, shoulder and Redfern was pretty well placed to adjudicate well, this could put a cat, a cat amongst the Liverpool pigeons the ball scarcely seems to be back the required distance here comes Mel Sterland and again courageous block particularly on the first shot I think by Nickel shots at him here comes McAllister well on there here balance of play been admirable for Leeds, the character that they've shown, Strachan suggesting that he was caught by Burrow's elbow deliberately, has actually had the ball and was making progress with it. more and more often good call from Hooper and the evidence of that not that we can hear it in <laughs> this uh, deafening noise but Hussein definitely ducked to respond to uh, a shout from behind Barnes and no side rush well 
99 times out of 100 perhaps Ian Rush would have scored that you'd have certainly uh, put your savings on him and in the end he was in too much of a hurry it might be academic to the result but it won't be academic to Rush every goal scorer feels dissatisfied if he comes off whatever the outcome without one to his name Challenge the goalkeeper here. It's over the line and it's not going to be given. And Chapman wants to know why. Ken Redburn indicated that an elbow was used. Well, it was down to two players here to sort this one out Mike Hooper and Lee Chapman. And there'll be plenty uh, watching who'll feel that the goalkeeper gets the benefit too often in those situations. Chapman can't understand it. The referees get less criticism if they uh, rule in favour of the goalkeeper. But Ken Redfern made a decision there which uh, is damaging to Leeds' hopes, however they are realistically of really uh, getting back into the game but that does count for shot and they simply want to get the game restarted the hopes are growing 12 minutes to go and uh, it might well have been a push by Hussein on Chapman in the first place but Schutt had his eye on the ball and he spun beautifully and Hooper could have hardly seen it so the drama is by no means over and there are very few players who put more into a game than Carl Schutt he doesn't always get to maximum benefit for his efforts but he's got a goal to show here and Leeds United are refusing to lie down having been virtually demolished in the first half well Carl Schutt doesn't believe that this is a lost cause and nor do some 30,000 Leeds United supporters but Barnes can make it academic it is 2-5 And when they needed him, John Barnes has obliged again. And the need was growing more pressing. Rushed it very well, very well indeed, to get to the ball, then to reverse it back to Barnes. And Lukic took some of the pace off the shot, but he couldn't stop it crossing the line. Look at Rush here. He fought for that with White. He opened leads up with the back heel. And Barnes on the break. Another goal for Liverpool. It's hard to keep count. But it is Leeds United 2, Liverpool 5. And there's still 10 minutes this afternoon, which will live long in the memory. 10 minutes to go. to raise their game <laughs> it's been so marvellous about Liverpool in the saga of supremacy in so many different competitions they could finish this season without a trophy but as we've seen here they always contribute to the joy of football lovers everywhere with the way they play and the standards they set
Strachan. Still leads, drive on. Batting. Chapman! That's a great goal. The eighth of the game. The balance of power still with Liverpool. But Chapman gets his second. And David Batty. Picked him out brilliantly. A day here of attacking delight. The defenders will take a different slant on things. But it's a privilege to be here watching it. Here's McAllister. They're beseeching Leeds to go forward now and these marvellous supporters. Goodness knows how it would be if they get another one. of emotions, the uh, Yorkshireman is a realistic man and they still realise that the percentages are against them Speeding David Speedy who knows these parts well uh, brought up in football terms in Barnsley just down the M1 Chapman. It's a lead throw. For what the second half has shown. Perhaps why Arsenal with their marvellous defence are on the top of the tree at the moment. Leeds on again, Hooper punches, Strachan, Sterling, Fairclough, that's McAllister, the second half has shown that if you get at Liverpool, you can make them look very uneasy defensively, this is another example, Chapman perhaps left it to Fairclough. McAllister over the top at the end. Well, he will be counting the seconds. Thompson actually looking at the watch and who'd have thought it at 4-0 to Liverpool they've still got a two goal cushion but Steve Staunton feeling the ferocity of the battle now breaks on because he was offside
Four minutes to go. Four minutes in which Leeds United are desperately trying to score. Two more to add to the three that they've heroically put past Hooper in the second half to make a game out of a match that seemed a formality. Lukic, surely. Rush trying to prevent that. Not much he can do. Chapman. Awkward for Staunton, but he solved his problems. McAllister. No handball by Mulvitt. At least if it was, it wasn't swatted by a referee or linesman. Leeds United regarded rightly as one of the fittest sides in the first division. Lasting the pace here in a match that's been testing not only physically but mentally as well. They've been mentally very strong in the second half. And they've not allowed Liverpool to simply play out time. Strachan inside it, no one else really to the right, that's why Strachan had to take those extra touches, Sterling could possibly have gambled that. It's a match really that's so full of credit to both clubs in differing ways. They play with such different styles. Leeds have offered a resilience that has been marvellous. They strained so hard in the second half. And they never quite got close enough. Not yet. Not close enough to ruffle Liverpool completely out of their stride. Still could happen with attitudes like that from Batting. Whitlow, well played. McAllister. Speed. Chapman waiting at the far post. Jumping with Hooper again. Sterling. Here's Strachan, he can tee it up. But he doesn't want to do that, he wants to get closer and cross, and Chapman's got a hat-trick! <laughs> Leeds United, punching the air in delight. There's only one goal in it now. And there's only one minute left. Strachan knew what he wanted to do, and he took his time. And Chapman in the right place again. It's Leeds United 4, Liverpool 5. And here comes the charge. Have you ever seen anything like it? Chapman at the sharp end of it all. But it's been such a collective effort. Rush, here's Halton, wondering whether he should head, head for the corner, to use up time, Liverpool thought they had plenty of that, Leeds had other ideas, Mulvey, Beardsley, well that's given possession, being cruel to Peter Beardsley, that's given the ball back to Leeds. be a manager and run him around at 56 so new to the job White hope has come the same got his head to it McAllister 
we're in to stoppage time. And off goes Beardsley. Barnes to the left, Leeds have got it back again. We've had a minute added on. Here's Barnes, Beardsley is onside. And Liverpool, realising that attack is the best form of defence, can they have the final word? Barnes has still got it, rushes in the centre. It's back with Nickel. And for the first time, Liverpool want to use up time rather than give themselves the insurance of another goal. That might be uppermost in the minds of Barnes and Nickel here. There can only be seconds left. On a day when Liverpool scored four in the first half and Leeds have scored four in the second half. The second half in which Barnes got a goal which is still looking so priceless for Liverpool. Rush is offside and it's not over yet Rush hasn't heard the whistle they don't know what to think on the bench they can be very proud of their Leeds players very very proud Way on, says Ken Redford. Speedy. It's over. A fabulous afternoon's entertainment. And even in defeat, Leeds United get a standing ovation. Lee Chapman has scored a hat-trick, but he's still a loser. John Barnes, with his goal in the second half to add to the four, that... Liverpool scored in the first half, that was the crucial goal. Liverpool started with Ray Hout and that seems a long time ago. A Jan Mulvey penalty, Speedy and Barnes their first half scorers. Four up at half time, but how Leeds United came out for the second half. With Chapman scoring three times, Carl shut getting another, Chapman had another one disallowed remember a game that will live long 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 in the memory but at the end of it all Liverpool do get their three points to keep Arsenal in their sights but how close it was we're all breathless here at the end of an afternoon that's finished Leeds United 4, Liverpool 5